Hello children, good morning to all of you. I hope you are fine there. Now, today we will learn the remaining part of the poem, the ball poem. This ball poem, who has composed this ball poem? John Berryman. The first part we have learned in our previous lecture. Okay, now let us recite the remaining part. Now, he senses first responsibility in a world of position. People will take balls. Balls will be lost always. Little boy. And no one buys a ball back. Money is external. He is learning. Well, behind his disparate eyes, the epistemology of laws. How to stand up knowing what every man must one day know and most know many days how to stand up. This is very simple poem and we will learn it very easily. So don't be panic. I think in this poem there is no difficult word here but we will learn the things like he senses first responsibility and then we will be lecture on this the world of position okay okay now if i remind you that we have learned that in this poem one child is there who had been playing with a ball and unfortunately his ball had slipped off his hand and bounced over the street and fall into the ditch to the water logging okay where that water dirty water is there and boy the boys is unable to be consoled hmm. everybody tried him to make him understand to purchase him the next ball but you know he was not ready to accept that because his love his affection his care was associated with that ball and today he learned or today he is in pain because his lovable things has been lost his lovable things has been lost and now he was uh, sorry he is thinking that you know when his love has been lost it will never be gained back now poet means to give us another world of thought another world of thought that it is uh, or sorry, it was his experience, it was his experience being a boy, being a child and every human, every human thinks according to their skill. Every human being thinks according to their skill. For example, what topic, just I am going to the, make you understand on some different uh, that is related to this issue, not the topic now. Look, a child learns the things, the subject matter according to his skill, according to his skill and maturity. What was the topic taught when you had been a child, like you know when you were in the LKG students or in the primary students, huh, that topic seems to you it's very easy one. Now, if I give you the subject matter of a research scholar today to you, you will think it's very hard, it's very hard thing. Okay? So, this is very clear that you know a person grows up and learns new things, new experiences come in, new experiences come in his or her life. Okay, this is the natural process of growth. This is the natural process of growth. But the person, the child who does not have this kind of experience, suppose that you know child is living uh, with his mother and father, but some accidental case occurs and you know something is lost which was his loving object. Suppose that you know pet, one pet, a, a boy loves with a pet, okay, and unfortunately that you know the pet got an accident and died. This boy doesn't have any experience that you know somebody will die away, somebody will be separated with us. But we know that death is common. Loss is common. It may come to everyone. It may come to anyone any, at any moment. And then what to, what to do at that time? We have to keep patience. We have to keep patience and wait for the next one. Okay? So, this experience 
was not in this child so he was unable to be comforted with and poet say in the last part ha huh, that he is now experience who is now experience he is now experiencing that boy is now experiencing is now learning the epistemology of loss epistemology of loss refers to the knowledge of loss the knowledge of loss many thing he may hold many thing he may hold but some day that may be lost and when it will be lost then he or she is to keep patience he or she must not cry over that right now first things that we need to focus on that you know uh, he senses he senses if as to he understands his responsibility when the boy that is you know the uh, child of you know 2 to 5 years or 7 years of age seven years of age didn't have given any responsibility didn't have given any uh, sorry generally not given any task why because they do not know that responsibility what is the meaning of responsibility what is the meaning of duty huh? because they do they don't have such kind of skill to understand what you can understand now what is your responsibility that you know it today if you do not do your task complete today then it will be a huge burden and then your responsibility will be greater to complete uh next day anyhow so that kind of experience he did not have before today he learns a new kind of experience new responsibility and now next next word that we will learn that you know in the world of position he learns new thing he learns new lessons he learn new experience in the world of position of course there is a question what do you, what do we mean by world of position position refers to what is what belongs to us or what belongs to somebody else position refers to in his or in my huh, belongings position what i hold is in my position okay now the world of position every person have their world of positions there are two kind of world of position one is internal position and another one is external position external position by external position i mean to say that you know what money can buy what money can buy like building car industry properties gadgets of course love is there we love that's why we have a greed that's why we collect it but main factor is money money that's why in this poem also it is said that you know money is external that is you know money can buy our external things and external things when we buy and purchase expending money then it comes in our position this building is ours this bike is mine right this industries are ours so this refers to position and another internal position refers to that you know brother sister friendship pet play things proud bond of love proud bond of love for example i have a good affairs with my grandparents because grandparents shower his shower their love and affection to me and i don't like to break it in uh, any way right sometimes you may have a love with your pet you don't like to break it you don't like to leave that pet anyhow right sometimes you may love car very much okay because you possess these things so this child now comes to know different things is world of positions this world of position that these things are these things are their positions these things are their personal positions ha huh? love is the main factor which gives birth to this kind of relation love is the main factor which gives birth to this relation and this is called internal positions money is the main factor which this uh, you know which brings this much things and but even then it is a, it is external positions now 
question arises what do you mean by external position and what do you mean by internal position look internal because this relation of brother and sister relation of friendship cannot be purchased by money it can be purchased or you can say that you know you can have it only by your love and affection showing care okay your pet your pet that means you know, for example pigeon you may love with you may have your love with a pigeon and that is only purely your love and care that pigeon also respond you so this is a uh, loving world so this kind of experience and now the children of 5 to 6 years they have only this kind of world this they were familiar with this world but they didn't have experience with this you know the external world and the poet says poet says that you know what he poet what poet says poet says that you know he is learning well behind his disparate eyes that means you know he is uh, he is in extremely he is extremely in his pain pain of loss but even then what is learning the epistemology he is learning the knowledge of loss and now this boy is also uh, trying his best to how to stand up how to keep patience in that painful situation and how to survive that is called you know how to stand up for example i may lose my personal uh, bond parental bond i may lose my parents okay then my grief will be unbearable one and then ultimately i am to keep patience i am to tolerate that i am to bear with that today i have such experience but yesterday when i was a child like this boy i didn't have such experience what does poet mean by this by this by all these things poet mean to say that you know we have many experience and we learn it learn it we learn it when our skill allows it when our skill allows it and this skill develops at particular stages there are different stages of our skill to understand to comprehend to have experience what a child learns today absolutely when he will be a young fellow his understanding his ability to understand that will be different and that's why poet says that you know sometimes if you if you come across with trouble pain difficulties you must not suffer you must not suffer rather you know you keep patience because you do not have such experience how to bear with but think logically tomorrow you will have another experience tomorrow you will have another experience this is the main uh, lesson that poet means to say that what we can't get we need to keep patience instead of shedding tears instead of weeping instead of showing our pain and upset no rather we are to keep patience and we uh, we are to wait for some new ways we are to think logically how to get it back some things we may not get back but another things we may get now knowing that every man must one day know and most know many days how to stand up so okay i hope that you know this is all about the poem so in the last part let's have a recap again in the last part poet says that you know the world of experience the world of experience in the previous part we have the world of innocence world of innocence what kind of behavior a child shows in that in his world of innocence and now when he enters into the world of experience that is full of responsibilities that is full of responsibilities and duties he now learns gradually and poet says that you know he now learns uh, the loss of sorry knowledge of loss and pain and afterwards how to stand up because 
he now learns that every man lose something and everybody stand up again the pain may come difficulties may come but there is no use of showing upset or showing grief rather in that situation it will be better if we keep patience and if we think logically to finding out how to stand finding out the better ways to stand up okay so this way i think poem is clear for everybody and the related question related question uh, you you should com uh, complete you should complete your answers i hope there will be no problem in completing your answer by the way if you have any problem then sure i will help you okay god bless you